On the Saturday night prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor, I went ashore. I was only 20 years old at that time. And uh, like all young sailors like that, I went and had a good time and got back about midnight. And I figured, well, the next day was Sunday. Normally on Sunday, we were able to, to sleep in. Other, other mornings, we were up at 5.30 in the morning and uh, had to work until 5.30 at night. But uh, on Sundays, we were able to sleep in and have brunch later on in the morning. And so uh, that's what I was doing when the, the attack came. I was uh, actually sleeping in the barracks uh, above the boathouse. And uh, first thing I knew, I heard a bunch of bombs dropping and I heard machine guns and airplanes flying. Couldn't figure out what was going on, so I got up and went out to the window and looked out towards the water. And uh, we were right, right alongside the water there. And uh, to the right was the USS California, and to the left was the Oklahoma and the Maryland. And behind that, of course, were the West Virginia and Tennessee. And, but directly in front of us was a tanker by the name of the Neosho. And uh, somebody hollered, uh, I seen the Oklahoma start leaning over to, to on its port side, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, but I could see all the noise and everything and explosions. And uh, so somebody hollered up uh, there and says, uh, take cover, the Japs are attacking. And we just about told them they were crazy, and, be, and yet we can see it and yet not believe it. But uh, we did take the hint, and uh, I got dressed, and I ran down to the Marianne, and I turned on the blowers. I was going to turn on the, the engines to get, get her underway. But uh, in the meantime, I had to leave the blowers on for about five minutes. So at that particular time, I looked out the starboard hatch of the Marianne, and it was right in line with the USS... Uh, stern of the USS California, and I seen this Japanese plane about 20 feet up above the water, and uh, it dropped its torpedo, and that thing looked like it was coming right at me that wake. I was watching a wake, and it looked like it, it was headed right for me, and, but as a result, it sunk into the stern of the California and blew up, which I was thankful. Then it dawned on me I was the only one on that boat, and I can't handle it myself, so I secured the blowers and got up on deck, and an officer told me to jump in on a 50-foot motor launch uh, with two other fellows, which I did, and we got underway and started picking up survivors on the California. Uh, 